This could be the most eagerly awaited wind energy innovation in recent times. But why is it not yet available to household consumers? In this video, we will conduct an in-depth analysis of Ridgeblade wind energy innovations. I have some updates on when Ridgeblade might be available. Make sure you watch till the end to find out on the updates. If you are new here, we create videos on a variety of topics related to renewable energy. If this sounds like something you might be interested in, please consider subscribing. If you find this video informative, click the like button after watching so the information can spread to those who need to see it. But before we delve into more details, let me give you a bit of background on what inspired the creation of this video. When I found out about this innovation, I was excited and wanted to know more about its effectiveness. However, I couldn't find enough information on residential consumers who have installed and are using it. From the information I found, this innovation has been around since around 2011. But as of the time of making this video, household consumers worldwide are interested in buying for their residential properties, and yet the product is not available. Additionally, the company has not done very well in responding to messages from interested household consumers. Ridgeblade is an innovative wind turbine designed to harness wind power and produce electricity. It is a product of the Canadian company, The Power Collective. The Ridgeblade adopts a new design philosophy, addressing many drawbacks associated with traditional wind turbines and solar PV systems. It is designed to be mounted on the roof of a house, capable of producing electricity in a wide range of wind conditions, including low wind speeds, while maintaining the lowest visual impact. The power generation capacity of Ridgeblade wind turbine products varies depending on the model and installation configuration. In general, the RB1 residential model can generate up to 2.7 kilowatts of peak power, while the RB2 commercial model can generate up to 25 kilowatts of peak power. The actual energy generated depends on factors like wind speed, wind direction, and the turbine's size and shape. Ridgeblade turbines operate in a wide range of wind conditions, providing significant energy for residential and commercial applications. The Ridgeblade wind turbine harnesses the Aeolian wind focus effect using the existing surface area of a pitched roof to collect and focus the prevailing wind. This forces the wind to travel over the roof surface forming a pinch point at the roof ridge, accelerating the airflow through the turbine. The unique design results in measured wind speeds around the ridge being just over three times the actual wind speed, providing up to nine times the energy compared to traditional wind turbine systems. Ridgeblade wind turbine offers several advantages, including its ability to produce electricity in a wide range of wind conditions, low visual impact, efficiency, safety, and a modular and scalable design. These advantages make Ridgeblade a promising option for harnessing wind power in various settings, addressing many drawbacks associated with traditional wind turbines and solar PV systems. Despite the anticipation, Ridgeblade remains elusive. Why hasn't this groundbreaking technology made it to the market yet? From the information available on the company's Facebook page, these are my assumptions about why Ridgeblade is not yet available to household consumers. According to the company's own posts on Facebook, it seems they have a very small team. This can be summarized as staffing challenges. Let me quote their Facebook page. We are a relatively small team involved in R&D and tech development. Furthermore, it appears there might be an underestimation of the overwhelming interest in Ridgeblade. As they stated, from time to time, something hits the press in some countries and we are routinely inundated with emails. 
Deploying a groundbreaking technology involves various challenges, from training installers to working with distributors, manufacturing, and transportation. These processes take time, meticulous planning, and effective execution. Also, from the company page, while responding to a follower, they stated, we are in the process of training and appointing installers in the UK and Ireland, at which point they will respond to all in their region and handle all inquiries as we do not sell direct to end user. Another reason why this long-awaited innovation has not been made available to household consumers might be related to the company dealing with commercial orders. Looking at various videos from the company, it seems they might already be deploying the commercial versions of this new wind energy innovation. It's worth mentioning that certification is very important in technology and innovations. The process of testing and acquiring certifications takes a while. Also, certifications in different countries are likely to be different. Going through all the red tape and hurdles might be responsible for the reason why the product has not been available for household consumers. Now the million dollar question, when can we expect Ridgeblade to become available in the market? Let's explore potential release timelines for various regions such as Europe, US, Canada and worldwide. The company's response to customers on their Facebook page shows that it might be available in not distant future. A statement on their page stated that they are considering 2026 for it to be available in North America. As they have also mentioned that they have a training site in Liverpool in the UK, this means that they might not be too far away from launching it in the UK and Europe. Now let's talk about the company's silence. Why have they stopped responding to messages from interested consumers? It seems they were overwhelmed with messages, as can be seen from their response to a follower on their page, and I quote, from time to time, something hits the press in some countries and we are routinely inundated with emails. Perhaps you might get a quicker response if you contact them via their Facebook page rather than through email. Because they do not sell directly to end users, if you are able to find their dealer in your area, it is better to contact the dealer rather than the Ridgeblade manufacturer. Currently, there is no specific information from the company about the pricing. There are speculations on online forums that it could be more than $20,000, including installation costs. It's worth noting that the company has stated that they do not sell directly to end users. I assume the pricing for different countries will be different and the range of products will have different prices. If you have already had Ridgeblade installed, do well to share your experience in the comment box below. If you have found this video useful, please click on the like button and subscribe for more videos about renewable energy. You can also share the video with anyone you think might find it useful.